This video is sponsored by JNC Collectibles website at jnccollectibles.com. Be sure to check them out for all your TCG needs from sealed products to sleeves to play mats. Link is in the description box below. Thank you and back to the video. All right, it's Charlie from JNC here. We have Jib. What'd you do today, Jib? I got top 32 at YCS. Um, Riley, I played Pure Snake Eye. I thought I would go a lot farther, but apparently not. Um, shout out to our sponsors, JNC, Dragon Ink, and Dueling Guard. Use Team JNC 5 to 5% off at the checkout. Um, also, shout out to everybody that helped me test for this event. Shout out to um, Enzo, shout out to Gabriel Susi, shout out to Lundrity, shout out to Bozo Court, shout out to Charlie behind the camera, shout out to Jose, everybody here chilling. Um, shout out to my Twitch and YouTube, Jib underscore YGO, check me out. Um, I do competitive content. Um, shout out to everybody that I miss, my parents, family, of course. Uh, here's the list. So I played three copies of Snake Ash, two Poplar, one Oak. Two Flambridge, that's it for the Snake Eye package, it's standard. Um, three copies of Witch, one Jet Synchron. So they banned all the good synchros, but we're playing worse synchros now. But we still play Jet, this card's insane. Witch is broken. Then for the, um, the hand traps, part of the like the monster hand traps, we played three Valor, three Ash, three Mourner, one Nibiru. Shout out to G. Uh, and three copies of Infinite Impermanence. So the idea was these 12 hand traps are better than all the other hand traps in the game, but you kind of have to play this so you don't get destroyed by it. And you're playing cross out, so it makes no sense to play this. It helps you like push going second for game through which are cross out. You have to have this. But these 12 are the good hand traps. This card is bad, and the rest of the hand traps are bad. Draw is bad. So we just played those 13. That was like a lot of um, Gabriel Susi convincing me. Shout out to the French. Um, then for the spells, we played three copies of Bonfire, three copies of Wanted, three copies of Cross Out, three copies of Lullaby of Obedience, and then the one of the two Snake Eye one of and one for one. Uh, so decided to main Lullaby this weekend. I still thought that going into this event, if not Pierce Snake Eye, Fire King Snake Eye would be the most represented deck by far. So I wanted to have a card that was like really broken when I went first in the mirror and can help me push through stuff going second in the mirror. And then Cross Out is basically engine in this deck because the deck can't function properly without Cross Out because it's not uh, resilient enough. So that's it for the main 40 cards. For the extra deck, I played this cool package. I played Scarred Red Dragon Archfiend, Red Dragon Archfiend, and Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. So the idea behind this engine is you can either do this, you can do Hero, they can do Omega Dispatter, but this combo allows you to still end on Hot Red if you get Nibiru, which the other combos, they don't work if you get Nibiru usually, but you can still get to Hot Red if you get Nibiru. And then Scarred Red says if it's used as a Synchro material to summon, if it's sent to the graveyard as a Synchro material, you summon Red Dragon Archery from your extra deck and then destroy all monsters your opponent control in attack position. So when they nib you, they're gonna nib you, you summon Hot Red and then you kill the nib. So it's not even like they can like threat, they, they lose the body also. And then, hot, and then Red Dragon Archfiend's effect is kind of relevant. It says if it attacks a defense position monster, it destroys all other defense position monsters. So it helps you like Zelensis with decay. And then obviously we just wanted to keep Omni Negate. So, and it's bigger than Nibiru. So that's why this is better than Herald because they can just like threaten your battle phase and you have to like SP to protect Herald. This they can't threaten, so. That's it for the synchros. Then for the links, um, we have Link Kribo at home, IP, SP, Phoenix, Charmers, Celine, Promethean, Zalantis OTK, Appalooza, and Access Code. Some people play Typhon over this. I still think that this is better, especially now, uh, because the deck is just a lot weaker. So you want to wrap up games on the first turn, so this helps you a lot. Um, then for the side deck, played four different named visuals. I was playing two Drew Swim before, but I guess this one is better because if you draw multiple names, you don't want to ever draw two Drew Swim. The actual effects of these cards are actually irrelevant except for Magnum. This card is insane if you draw this card, is broken. Um, for the rest, this was the Gabriel Susi tech. Shout out yeah. to Gabe Susi. So we decided to play three mind control change of heart. The idea was in the pure mirror, if they like this pattern, loop you. 
this card just destroys them. Like you take their disc pattern, you get an instant negate, and then disc pattern can bring back their Omega, and then you can make like a dark, or you can like break their board just with this. And then I guess like Fire King, like if you hand trap them once, they end on Apple, you take Apple, so you have like three coal by the graves to deal with Arvada Princess, and then you just beat them. So these cards were actually insane. Every time I drew them, I won. Then with that same idea, I wanted to play a go first card, but I didn't like any of the trap cards. I know some people were playing skill drain, some people were playing like rivalry, um, whatever. One anti spell. I just felt like when you went first, you didn't want a trap card because a trap card you're basically just committing to stopping your play. You wanted extenders to help you keep playing because when your deck played, you won. So we main decked the low buys and then we sided the tactics to just help push through. And then this card is good going second in some matches like Voiceless and Fire King. And then uh, we played four back removal cards. We were afraid of stun. I didn't play against any stun. If I played against stun, hopefully I drew these cards. Sometimes they matter, but yeah, this was just here for stun. That's it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, shout out to everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> Starting now.